In this video, we'll look at the type of reaction for CH3COOH plus KOH. So before we start, this CH3COOH, this is acetic acid. This is one you really should memorize. You could also write it this way. So sometimes you'll see it written like this. It's the same thing, same number of atoms, except with this version, this COOH, that's called a carboxylic acid. This H here is what's making this acetic. So this is a little more descriptive. You'll often see it written this way. So we have our acetic acid plus our potassium hydroxide. When I try to figure out the type of reaction, first thing I notice is I have water here. And then I have a salt. I have the acetate ion and this metal, this potassium. So I have a salt, an ionic compound, and then water. And when I have a salt and water as my products, I'm thinking neutralization reaction. I have acetic acid, and then I have potassium hydroxide. When I have a metal bonded to an OH, that's a hydroxide when it's bonded to the metal, that's gonna be a base. Acid plus base gives you salt and water. That's the pattern for a neutralization reaction. It's really helpful in chemistry if you memorize the major acids and the bases. So this table has some common acids and bases that are really worth memorizing. Let's take a look real quickly at a table of common types of chemical reactions to kind of understand what's happening here. So we have our neutralization reaction, but it's also considered a double replacement reaction. That's because the K, the potassium, and the hydrogen here they switch places, they replace each other. So we end up with the K with the CH3COO. So we have CH3COO and there's the K. Sometimes they'll put the K in the front either way. Then we have the H replacing the K, so we end up with HOH, that's H2O. So neutralization reaction and double displacement. This is Dr. B with a type of reaction for CH3COOH plus KOH. Acetic acid plus potassium hydroxide. Thanks for watching.